Hey guys, it's Andrew from Simulatsu and in this tutorial we are going to look at Grand Central Dispatch and how to use multi-thread in Swift with queues that use Grand Central Dispatch. So before we get straight into coding for the app, we're going to look at Grand Central Dispatch, what it is, how to use it and why you would use it. So we have a starter app which you can download the source code in the description below but we won't be coding until I explain the concepts of Grand Central Dispatch. So what can Grand Central Dispatch be used for? It's quite useful for downloading an image or a file in the background of your application. If you don't do it the correct way and you try to download an image as in our example app, it will freeze up your whole app's interface until it's completed downloading that image. So let's take a look at the concept of Grand Central Dispatch before we get into coding. First of all, what is Grand Central Dispatch? Grand Central Dispatch, also known as GCD for short, in a nutshell, allows you to split up tasks into multiple separate threads. So to understand it, we need to be familiar with the following concept within GCD. The first concept is concurrency and parallelism. Essentially, a processor with multiple cores can have multiple tasks at the same time. On the same token, a processor with a single core can also run multiple tasks, however, it splits up the time between them as this image on the screen shows. So with the image at the top, you basically have a single processor and two queues. So each queue is split its time among that single core processor. At the bottom, we have a multiple core processor, which is represented by two code machines. So each queue or thread can use the code machines at the same time. So this video here gives you an understanding of how you use co these code machines. So in this first video, we have a Coke machine here. We have a single task, which can grab a can of Coke or a bottle of Mountain Dew. So this task goes back and forth, grabbing the Coke or Mountain Dew as it's assigned to. This is a single core processor. If we split that up into a multi-core processor, we can have two Coke machines running at the same time. So a task can grab a Coke or Mountain Dew from either processor, in which in turn will speed up the processing time for these tasks in theory. So going back to the image, we want to think of each person as a task. A task could be downloading an image, downloading a file from a URL, saving same data locally, recording video, any sort of task you could complete in Swift. So Grand Central Dispatch enables us to interface with these threads by using queues. Typically in an iOS app, you have the one main queue, which is responsible for updating your user interface and completing any tasks in your code. This is fine for 90% of cases. However, the problem lies in the fact that if you try to complete a task, such as downloading a 20 megabyte image, for example, that task will block every other task behind it from completing. So if you put that on the main thread, the user can't interact with your app and your app can't do anything else until that image is downloaded. So this is where the concept of queues comes to mind. We download the image on a separate queue so it won't block the rest of your app from completing tasks. We manage queues for a dispatch queue and there are two types of queues. The first one is a serial queue where you complete your tasks in order, one at a time. The second queue is a concurrent queue where you can be running multiple tasks at the same time which is what we're going to look at implementing within our application using Grand Central Dispatch. So Grand Central Dispatch controls when the task starts and stop depending on how many threads are available. So it manages a thread pool and goes, hey thread pool, I need you to download an image, go and do that. But if you give it way too many tasks, it will only complete a certain subset at a time, not all of them at once. However, the great thing about it is that you can implement priority to tasks, such as a background task, a main task, and a normal task, and so on. 
So within Grand Central Dispatch, there are three queues that it can manage. The first one is the main queue. This is where it updates your app user interface and also where most of your code will run by default unless you tell it to otherwise. The second one is the global queue. This is typically where you'll use Grand Central Dispatch to run tasks such as downloading an image, downloading a file, and so on in the background. The global queue is a concurrent queue, so all the tasks will run at the same time unless you specify otherwise. The final queue is a custom queue, which is another queue, a bit more advanced, that you can set up to use in your own way. And in this custom queue, tasks can either be running concurrent or serial. The final concept is synchronous versus asynchronous. It's much like serial and concurrent. Synchronous is where you run tasks one at a time in order. Asynchronous is where you can run a task in the background, such as downloading an image. Then you can have a callback to the app to be like, oh, when I finish downloading the image, update my image view with the image I've downloaded to show that to the user. So that could be downloading a profile picture in the background and then showing it in your app for the user. All right, now we've gone over the concepts of Grand Central Dispatch. Go ahead and download this starter template in, in the description below. And you'll notice when you run the app, it's a collection view that will download a bunch of cat images. But the problem is it takes 30 seconds to one minute to load. And while it's loading, you can't interact with the app at all. So this is a pretty useless app and a frustrating experience for our user. We don't want them to be waiting until all the images download until they can use the app. We want them to be able to use the app straight away, interact with it, and let the images download in the background. So what's happening currently is these cat images are downloading on a serial queue. So it will download all the images at once and then we'll finally update them and show our user interface. What we want to change the app to do is to use a concurrent queue and download the images in the background. That way we can show the user interface straight away and as those images are downloaded, they'll then be shown to the user. So let's get into coding it. Okay, so we have our app here. So I'll just run it once again to show you what it looks like if we don't download the images using Grand Central Dispatch. So our app's actually running now, even though the screen's wide, it's downloading the images in the background. And it just completed now and it shows them all at once, shows a gray background, and then you can start using the whole app. So what we are going to do by using Grand Central Dispatch, it will show this screen right away. We'll have a little template loading image icon in each of the images and we'll download all of these cat images in the background. So to do that, go back to our app. I've already got some code here, which gets these table images. And this is where it loads them into a collection view here. And we'll be changing the code in this cell for item at index path function. So to do that, under let URL, do a dispatch queue dot global dot async and then we'll move this code in here remember in my exclamation the global queue was a separate queue that can be concurrent or serial that will run background tasks so this async is going to run it in a concurrent manner so we'll run alongside our app in the background once we get the data after that, we need to do dispatch queue dot main dot async. Then the code here, and we'll place the cell dot my image equals UI image here. So what this does is once we've got the data from from the URL, which is the image file, then push it out to the main queue, which is responsible for the UI, and update the cell image. 
So you could leave this cell.myImage.image equals in this global queue, but the problem is that runs at a lower priority than the main queue. So that might not show the image straight away, which would be a bad experience for the user. So this main queue has the highest priority. It's the main thread in our app. So as soon as we download the image, we push out the image to the main queue to show it in our collection view cell. So let's run the app again and see it actually downloading images in the background. Okay, we can see we've got our loading icon here and the images slowly loaded up one at a time and the app loaded up straight away this time. So this is why you would use Grand Central Dispatch. By dispatching that image downloading to the global queue in here, it means our app main thread, which the UI thread lies on, which is the user interface, can load straight away and you can actually interact with your app while the images are downloading in the background. And as soon as we download the image, we go back to the main queue, which is where the user interface thread lies on, and set the cell image to the image we just downloaded. So you can download the complete source code for that below. Remember to subscribe for more tutorials and future tutorials on Grand Central Dispatch.